join the strolling my name's Victoria and um, I run the Oasis Centre here in Gorton, uh, Manchester. Um, I started the Oasis Centre about 17 years ago when I moved to Gorton as a student and I was very aware that there wasn't a lot of services for um, the people that we support now. Um, and so I set up the Oasis Centre to um, support people that were very much excluded from um, the community, uh, felt very isolated, maybe struggling with um, alcohol and drug addiction. Um, a lot of people were third or fourth generation benefits, so um, have never had opportunities um, that a lot of us have taken for granted to get into the workplace. Um, and. So in those 17 years that we've been working here in Gorton, we now have four programmes of support which offer holistic um, support for each individual coming in. Hi, I'm Phil Hitchin. I'm Managing Director of Business at Bellevue Coaches in Gorton. We're really passionate about the work Victoria does at the Oasis Charity in Gorton. Me and my co-director Ian Bragger from Gorton and our business was first set up in Gorton 23 years ago. Twenty years ago I used to play football at the Angel Pub across the road from the charity Oasis and I think Victoria is the angel of Gorton. Well, I started this centre with um... Well, li literally, I gave up my job, started the Oasis Centre, and my husband funded the project for the first two years. And then we got too big, and then we were like, well, what are we going to do? So um, I did a textile degree, so I have no fundraising experience. Um, I'm not that academic, so it it's been... Uh, an interesting journey to try and fund this project. Um, we now have um, seven staff and 26 volunteers. So um, it's a big, for me, it's a big project to keep going. Um, so when we get someone like um, Phil and Bellevue coaches come along and say, actually, we want to help you. We want to help... Um, uh, fill your charity shop up with with clothing so that you can make some money but also that the people that come in here can can actually benefit from that that makes a massive difference and then when someone says well we'll do a fundraising um you know we'll do a fun run and we, we've raised a thousand pounds my goodness that means that we can do a brand new course for a whole year for um some some amazing people that can't access any other courses in manchester um, because of the barriers um, it's so, so for the charity it's massive but for personally for me it's just a lifesaver because it's quite lonely sometimes um, trying to keep trying to keep the center running the sustainability of it it's quite boring it's quite dull but it's absolutely necessary so when I get someone like Phil coming along and saying wow we believe in what you're doing we want to help it's yeah it just um, it gives me the strength to keep going yeah. I think you get a great deal of um, satisfaction coming here. Uh, coming here, you, 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 you walk into people who are very friendly. They, they welcome you, open hands, they give you hot meal, hot cup of tea. And uh, even the way they speak to you alone is something. For, you know, to, to, to relax you, to make you feel happy and make you feel uh, valued, make you feel part of the community and part and the belonging. Um, it is uh, something that I, I cherish so much. And when I found out there was a place like this here, I kept coming. Today I'm, money, I'm looking after the shop where um, we sell things that are brought by. Uh, people who are very, very kind and uh, their donations that we sell at little or nothing. And they were able to generate little fund from that. And people are so happy because it's like giving it away. At bottom, uh, rock bottom prizes, we give them away. And they, they, they love them. They're very happy. They keep coming and coming and coming. And uh, we enjoy being together as a group. It's like a family here. We're really proud to support Victoria and her team at Oasis. We think the work she's doing is tremendous and we wish her the best of luck in the near future.